Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. It's 2 o'clock p.m. on May 4th, 2024 in Burnaby, British Columbia, Canada. It's 19 degrees outside on a partly cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I travel for 2.9 kilometers starting in Brentwood Park at Gilmore Skytrain Station. This will south on Gilmore Avenue, east on Norfolk, and through Broadview Park, and then south on Smith to meander around TJ Fest, a celebration of Taiwanese culture at the Tianjin temple in cascade heights ending my trek at the temple to support the channel click the heart icon to send me super thanks for updates follow me on tiktok and instagram at jforestwith and if you enjoy this video smash that like button share it and subscribe It's <laughs> like so you gotta hit this. Hey folks, Jerome Forrestwood here. It is a blustery day down here. We are just waiting for the lights to change. Looks like we just gotta wait for the advance first. And there we go, there's our turn. We're down at Dawson Street and Gilmore. I'm gonna be heading down Gilmore Street today. <laughs> I gotta get this light right here. Here's our Dawson Street and Heading Drive. Converge at Gilmore Ave. It's officially called the Gilmore Ave. I didn't know I say I said Gilmore Street, but yeah, Gilmore Ave. So I'm just waiting for the light to change here. And there's our turn, so we'll go. We'll be heading through a primarily industrial and a residential area over to a temple a Taoist temple for the TJ festival which is over here in the city of Burnaby today from 11 to 4 and tomorrow from 11 to 4 I'm going to come down today and see what it's all about. It's most likely going to be a relatively small festival, but it has happened in the past. And this, of course, will also get us out and about in different areas of Metro Vancouver. So come along with me. Let's see what this is all about. Passing over the bridge in Still Creek. It is so so densely overgrown right there. I don't think we could even see this creek. But uh, there is a creek there. There goes the Sky Train. Over here by the local Home Depot that's down here on Gilmore Avenue. This is one of our larger Home Depots in the area. Other Home Depots that we have in Metro in Vancouver include the Home Depot over on Terminal Ave. East Vancouver and the Home Depot over on the west side of Vancouver in the Camby Village along Camby Street at Camby and 8th I believe And we'll keep walking here. You see we are in the 
big tower area of Burnaby, but we are leaving that. Another tower area, and that down there too. And eventually, the power areas, the tower areas, will probably converge. As Burnaby is pushing forward, with trying to build more stuff, <laughs> it's in a constant tug between uh, building and NIMBYs. But <laughs> if they build more, of course, that'll give the mayor and city council more tax dollars because it'll increase their uh, number of tax <laughs> payers who live here. So <laughs> it's a good idea to keep building. Vancouver's trying to move in the same direction. There's so much red tape put in by the previous administration. Uh, in favor of the NIMBYs. And that would be not in my backyard. <laughs> people who don't want development. <laughs> Those same people who don't want development usually are the same ones who complain when a major store leaves their area, like a grocery store. Because there just isn't enough people in the area anymore. Yeah, over here, I believe this is uh, Still Creek. I'll keep a walk in here. And over on this side, we got Dick's Lumber. For anyone from Ontario, that would be your beaver lumber. Or your home hardware. Go in and get your wood cut, that type of stuff. And we're down here at Still Creek Avenue. So we'll hit the light. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I love these Burnaby street lights. Wait. Over in Richmond, sometimes they say it in Mandarin. Which is cool too. This is Still Creek and Gilmore Ave. We'll walk through this area right here. Across the street here is Willington Park. And you can see the bus shelters over here saying the city of Burnaby. That's where we are, we are in the city of Burnaby. <laughs> Seeing where this guy's going. So I actually want to walk down this way. Looks like he's backing up. <laughs> so we'll just wait for a sec. Now nah, he's pulling in. Okay, I can crash. As far as he's gonna go. <laughs> Over here, this is Gilmore Ave. Right, keep walking here. And that over there would be the Gilmore Diversion. It's gonna turn into a bridge, but we'll take some stairs up to that bridge. <laughs> According to the map, <laughs> that would be Google Maps. Not always accurate, so if we find ourselves in an area like a dead end or something like that, well, we've at least learned <laughs> something. <laughs> 
Again, over here is primarily an industrial area. Right next to us here, this is the Canadian Linen and Uniform Service. And you can see other things like the BC Nurses Union right here. Buildings that not everyone is aware of that exist over here. Nice building. Tucked quietly away in an industrial area. I'm sure the property values are a little less around here. Mind you, it is an industrial area and all of Metro Vancouver is in need of more industrial space. So they probably got the space a long time ago. Let's keep walking here. <laughs> See what we can do. So there should be a stairway this way. So I'll head this way. <laughs> and that should take us to a stairway that's gonna take us up to that bridge there. Let's see if that's true or not. We're walking on Grandview Highway now. Part of that Grandview Highway that turns into the South Grandview Highway. And there's also the split with the North Grandview Highway. Heads on through East Vancouver. And over past the drive. And uh, as it gets over to Lakewood, it turns into the South Vancouver one, turns into, or South Grandview one, turns into uh, East 12th Ave, I believe. Keep walking here, just passing spectrum painting. They also do sandblasting and waterproofing. So again, that whole industrial feel here. It looks like there is a stairwell here, so we're in good luck. We're in good luck. And this is uh, it's one of the big highways here too. And that's also the Grandview Highway. major major area over here in the background there you can see the Grand Villa Casino poking through let's go up the stairwell get back onto Grand View Avenue to click somewhere back down there you go there you can see the back side of that industrial area right there in the mountains too. There's the two sisters, what colonists would call the two lions. It's really called the two sisters. <laughs> if I'm wrong, well, I'm trying to at least respect the names of the mountains. But yeah, that looks like the two sisters right there. And there's still snow on some of those mountains. Wow, they must be high. Let's keep going. Back on the ground view. This would be Grandview Avenue, and below us would be Grandview, or Gilmer Avenue. Below us would be Grandview Highway. We'll take a look at the highway in a minute. And it also looks like it's part of the Trans Canada. If I'm reading the street signs right. It's the two inner lanes are heading off to Whistler. And we're going west. And then these look like off ramp lanes over here to take you into East Vancouver. And Burnaby. Of course, this would be the west side of Burnaby. 
I'm gonna keep walking right here. I'm gonna shoot down Manor Street. And we'll wind our way through this area. Yeah, that's the Trans-Canada Highway. We just crossed over very quickly. And here is Manor Street. <laughs> Looks like we can go a little further on this strip. Right here. So just keep going. I'll walk down to and Dominion Street and Carlton Avenue. Some of the back laneways in the area. A lot of these areas have back laneways. Which some people can consider an inefficient use of land. But I'll leave that up to you folks to decide. Here's Dominion Street here. And if we head this way, this will be Carlton Avenue. And there is the path. And it'll take me down to Norfolk Street. And through Broad. And through Broadview Park. Reminds me of Broadview Street in Toronto. <laughs> Looks like a nice little retirement community over here. More recent build. And this should be a Norfolk. Yep. Those are over by Norfolk Place. <laughs> and this would be Norfolk Place here. Very cool. It was a nice day out today. It's 18 degrees. Definitely feel like I should be wearing shorts. Feels like a shorts day. <laughs> oh, across the street here. This is where the sidewalk ends. Oh, this is perfectly fine to do so long as you don't impede traffic. Especially in quieter neighborhoods like this. Looks like we're passing a few more senior centers. Very cool. Looks like some freshly built houses over here. Let me semi detached. And it looks like we got some condos over here.
Very cool. A pretty nice view over here. <laughs> That's so Burnaby. So Burnaby. This looks like one of the local public schools. It says the Board of Education, School District 41. So it might just be the board building, but who knows? I'm not an expert on Burnaby yet, still learning. Oh cool, they got their own totem pole there too. That's awesome. <laughs> See totem poles often at school sites. And over here is a Broadview Park. Let's pull out our map here. And we should be able to go straight and hit the path. And it's a little off on the map, but that's okay. It's totally understandable. And it's a bit of a curvy path here. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is the path right here that goes through the tennis courts. So you could walk right through the tennis courts. And this is the path that goes around the tennis courts. Well, we'll go around the tennis courts. <laughs> There's the courts. Nice courts. Nets up and everything. Not much to worry about over here. And today, today is a blustery day. We're gonna have some uh, rain clouds pass over us, but they're really not pouring today onto the ground or the land. And just more passing over. This is the big loop in Broadview Park that'll go around the playground. And we're not worried about the playground, but if you want to head on over to the playground, it's right there. If you have kids, that's where you can take them. We'll keep going. <laughs> and let's keep walking here. This is where the path separates. You can go down this way, or we want to head this way. We'll leave that path to take you down to, into a ravine and down past a body of water. Yeah, there's a little bridge down there. Well, maybe we'll go down that way another time, but for now we need to head this way. <laughs> and follow this part of this path. Maybe we're gonna cross another bridge. It looks like there's another bridge up here, so maybe we'll get a look at it either way. Very cool. And there's no kids playing on the swing set, so you can see the swing set there. And plenty of space to just come out and relax. Like, look at these tables here. I have a whole special event here. Nice tennis tournament or just a family gathering. Nice, nice, nice. Nice benches too. This is something that I do like about Burnaby. They really take an interest in making their parks nice. This is why they draw a lot of people out to their parks. And this is so beautiful. And some of it's aged. Hey, what can you do? What can you say? <laughs> There's the creek right there for you. And two clicks and we're back up. Go in here.
Oh wow, look at that old tree stump. That's huge. I saw the other trees here are smaller. So this place was probably logged at one point in time. Maybe even twice. And two clicks and we're back down. Just got a stone in my sandal. There we go, we'll keep going. Because in the trades, there's not, it's not guaranteed that you'll have it. We'll head up here. Not sure what this street is, but we'll find out when we get to the corner. See, we're walking in amongst some condos here. And over here, we're at Smith Street. Wow, this has been an adventure. <laughs> this has definitely been an adventure. <laughs> See the dad and the kid riding the ATV here. Wait, the cross is in Norfolk and Smith. Let's see, right on over there. There's the area. Yeah. Nothing wrong with dad taking his son out to teach him how to ride that today. If you're looking for a home, you can come out here and see Stella. She's having an open house today. <laughs> That's pretty smart because we got the festival up here. So let's see what this is all about. It's called the TJ Festival. And uh, it is part of uh, Taiwanese culture. So it's the Taiwanese Cultural Festival. <laughs> Looks like we can cross. <laughs> oh wow. Looks like we're gonna have a bit of commercial music, so I'll have to deal with that. No big deal. It's a good thing I didn't come here with a live stream. We'll be able to handle the commercial music. Looks like the next act is right here too. <laughs> so cool. Ah, this is where the entrance is right here. The stage. Look at this place. This place is bumping. This is the place to be in Retro Man today. <laughs> wow. There you go. We uh, go uh, sneak on through here. You can see all of the food that's out here. 
so busy. And this festival is not small either. It's covering a lot. It's covering a few blocks of Smith Street or Smith Street. Come on back and look at this side in a minute. Let's go on down this side. We got the waste management happening right now, and they're doing a really good job. So it's important. Got your usual the city stands, different things like Telus, City of Burnaby. Looks like we got some vendors here, sending, spending, <laughs> and different stuff. Oh, cool! This is like 3D printed. Very, very cool. Keychains. Over here, it looks like you got some floral reed diffusers and candles. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then some funky t shirts and different designs, bags. Very cool, very, very cool. Just gives people an opportunity to come on out and enjoy themselves. So nice, so nice. So come on out here, spend some money. <laughs> There's even more over there. Wow. Okay. We'll keep going on this side right now. It's so busy. I don't even think I'm going to have to worry about uh, copyright except for when I'm right by the stage. So that's good. Looks like we got more vendors over here. You can see the tent saying the Chinese Taoism Association in Canada. More vendors, beautiful stuff, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And you can see this is busy. For Burnaby, this is busy. This is awesome. Come on down here. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely come on down here. Of course, you'll see a lot of different diversities in Burnaby. It's a very diverse city. See everything from, of course, Taiwanese to Caucasian. You'll even get uh, <laughs> other populations in here, including the Pan other Pan-Asian sorts, like the South Asian community and the Southeast Asian community. And of course the Caucasians too. <laughs> Let's keep going. More jewelry. This is Century Healthcare, so uh, ask all your health questions. <laughs> Very cool. Burnaby Village Museum, they are actually opening today. Which is very, very cool as well. Or at least their little model city. That one's for the kids, so we'll turn around here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. All right. Sometimes you'll see these vendors out at the markets, but today, farmers markets, but today they are out here. <laughs> of course, this is Mr. Singh's riding. Of course, you're going to see a booth for the local politician in the area. I just want to make sure I'm not walking into a kid's area here. Looks like there's more vendors this way. So if we do run past the kid's area, a kid's area will we'll swing past that very fast. Okay, because that's not what we're interested in. Looks like we got more vendors over here though. So I think we're good for now. But uh, Metro Vancouver, they usually have things looks like more jewelry. Just gives people an opportunity to also test out their different businesses and stuff like this. Gives them an idea, especially within their own community. A lot of these vendors will also have uh, online stores. They're quite organized. That's speaking from experience. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that stuff. Spend money here. <laughs> Looks like they have something that you can get on over there. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. And groove music. <laughs> of 
And it looks like this is where they're having the kids' events. So we'll skip this section right here. I'll leave that for the kids. There's a little bit of food over there. <laughs> no, we'll just be safe. And there's the kids' events over there. So we'll come on back. We'll swing on back this side here. Check this out. We got more stuff on over here. These are more just leaderships, getting people out in the community doing stuff. Oftentimes young leaders. And then a few more vendors. Very cool. <laughs> you can see a lot of people from the local community out here. It's awesome. I'll head back through the balloons <laughs> and continue down the other side there. <laughs> it's going to be one of my longer videos, I can see. <laughs> There's a little bit of a hike over here from the station. <laughs> That's okay. They got more vendors. Ooh, these booths are busy. Busy, busy, busy. I can, I can, because I don't know a guitar before. Traditional musical instrument. Just gonna be careful. There's a few moms with strollers in here, a few senior citizens with canes. So make sure everyone's okay. More bracelets. Wow. Loving the vendors. Loving them. Looks like the local Remax. That's good to see too. And uh, China Airlines. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you, just vlogging. <laughs> cool. So yeah, if you're in this area. Oh wait, we gotta wait, we gotta wait. This is well organized. When you got street people coming through, helping organize the streets, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that type of thing. It looks like there's a food line over here on this side. Let's see what else is hiding over here. <laughs> yeah, so the TJ Festival is also going to be on tomorrow from 11 to 4. So come on down here and check it out. Look at all these vendors. There's plenty of stuff to shot and the prices aren't bad. Small, medium, large. Wow, cool. You might miss out if <laughs> they sell out today. They probably plan to have more stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's dogs here too. Got to dodge. <laughs> very, very cool. It's going to be a swell Healy festival. Wow, there's more tents over there. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get over to that section. Looks like there's a line there. And that's heading into the temple. There's the temple right there for you. Giant A-frame. Beautiful, beautiful temple. Yeah, it looks like they got a few of the food items over there. And cool, more stuff that you can just buy. Very, very cool. And look at these tables right here so you can come on over. Stand, eat your food. Looks like they got some ripping barbecue hiding out there. So they have are very active in getting um, all kinds of uh, art activities, dance activities, and also now charity, charitable activities. <laughs> yeah. So they have they actually have a lake. Oh, tuck on here. Yeah, they have model group. Model group. They also have a Latino dance. Oh group. yes. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah! My goodness. So, any kind of 
are. You can think of any kind of expressive art. Yes. With your body. With your body. Yeah. Very cool. I can see all the parts. And it's sponsored by China Airlines, too. To join them. Uh, that would be the Taiwanese airline, because yeah, so, it says China so they Airlines have all from kinds Taiwan. Of classes. They're basing uh, Coquitlam. Okay. So, shall we give Very them a cool. warm welcome and check out their show, what they have for us today? Let's see if we can sneak into the food tent. <laughs> Looks like these are the tents, or these are the changing rooms for the special events. And then it looks like over here, this is where you get your food pickup. Oh, cool. Yeah, we're not going to get in the way here. We're just going to come down here and stand. Oh, wow, look at that. Quite a lineup. So if you're coming down for food, they got food on over here too. But uh, we're not going to get in the way of this. We're just going to show you. Look at that. Oh, and they got the food right here too. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. Very, very cool. So anyways, folks, that's TJ Fest. Come on down to this event. It's on tomorrow as well. So, hey, if you're in Burnaby, this is the place to be, it looks like. <laughs> Talk to you later, folks. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, wow. This is such a busy event. Such a busy event. <laughs>